Hey, it's Glenn, and yes, I'm still in the closet, <laughs> so to speak. Um, I don't know. It's just comfortable in here. Like, it's nice, and I can't hear people-ish. Um, and people, I don't know if people can hear me. I don't care. Um, so anyway, I guess, uh, first things first, I'm feeling much, much, much better. Like, all, all of the problems are still there. <laughs> I'm just more, um, in a place mentally, spiritually, emotionally, where I can face them better and fight them. They're, I guess I got my fight back. I had my rocky moment today. And I always do. I, I always have my rocky moment. And I always think I'm not going to. I always think I'm out of Rocky moments. And by Rocky moment, I mean, you know, like if you've ever watched any given Rocky movie, <laughs> there's always the scene where he's like beat. Like Rocky gets beat to crap. He's going to lose. He's going to, you know, not, he's not going to make it. He's not going to get up off the floor. Um... Probably mostly because Rocky blocks with his face. I don't know why that is. As someone who's done boxing, kickboxing, like martial arts, I don't understand Rocky blocking with his face. He never blocks. I'm always just like, block ya bum, block! Like he doesn't. He's just, pff, pff, pff. oh my gosh, Rocky's gonna lose. Because he blocks with his face. And, you know, I guess that's kind of what I was doing, too, in a way. Like, I guess we all block with our face sometimes. Or you just don't even. You just don't even, you know. You don't care enough. Just go ahead. Just punch me right in the face. What difference does it make? I'm going down. And then you go down, and it's like, I'm just going to die, I guess. I don't know. But then... But then, because if you're Rocky, you know, you always get back up. You always get back up. I love those movies, by the way. Rocky, Creed, all of it. It's great. It's the best, like, man soap opera in the world. Um, but, you know, like... Well, I guess, you know, like, male point of view, it's like a, it's a man soap opera. It's not saying women can't enjoy Rocky. I just feel like it is a soap opera written by, for, and about men. <laughs> but, you know, it's great. And I feel like, um, I had that today, you know. And, you know, unlike Rocky, when I get up, I do this. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep I'm not gonna keep blocking with my face now that I've snapped out of it, you know. Um and I'm glad, like, you know, yesterday I didn't even vlog, but mostly because I was exhausted after work. I'm exhausted now. If I seem down at all, it's just because I'm so tired. Um and the manager at my day job is out for the next two days on vacation, so I'm opening and closing the next couple days, so I'll, you know, I will be exhausted. But I'm exhausted like this. I'm not gonna be getting hit in the face. I've got things to do, things I want to see. Um, so, I mean, basically, without getting into other people's business, I heard some good news from someone today. You know, first good news in a long dang while. Uh, you know, about, about their future. And, you know, your closest friends, their future and your future, they're entwined if you stick with each other, you know, and so this good news about this friend's future 
is something I want to be there for. It's something I want to be a proactive part of. Um, and just that realization instantly. Instant. It took me a bit to figure it out, but it was instantaneous. I wasn't giving up anymore. And honestly, I was. I was giving up. I just didn't... It's because, you know... It's like I block with my face when I feel like I don't have any reason to hit back anymore. Like, I don't have anything to live for. Or to fight for. That's better because... A better way to phrase it. Because, um... I get worn out when all I'm doing is fighting against something. But when I'm fighting for something, my batteries are at full charge. Like, come at me. I'm going to knock you down. Let's see if you block with your face. <laughs> like, nah, I'm going to overcome every, everything. And, uh, you know, now, now I feel like I have a reason, like a, something I'm fighting for. And so, you know, I called my dad, who two days ago I texted and told him to give up on me. I mean, and I meant it, like, that's where I was at, that's how I felt. And, I mean, today I called him and I didn't... You know, it's like nothing has changed situationally. I was explaining to him why I said that. And I told him everything. I told him more than I've shared on this vlog so far, you know. It's never that I am trying to keep a secret. There's always a reason that involves other people if I don't. The other people are some legal thing, you know. That's the only reason I wouldn't be forthcoming with something. Um, like, I'm not trying to get sued, and uh, I'm not trying to gossip about other people's business. So, <laughs> that's when I get kind of vague, but I do tell you I'm going through a thing, and this is how it's affecting me. Um, but yeah, I told him everything. Everything that would on, was on the surface enough to come out, you know, there's a lot going on at once, which is why I was just like, you know what, I'm out. <laughs> just block with my face. Just get it done. Knock me out. KO. I'm done. Ring the bell. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I mean, I was explaining why, you know, we solve one problem. There are still all the other ones hitting me at once, you know. It's like, I was like, I'm still going down, but, you know, I guess today I remembered I can block, <laughs> I can block with my arms, I can, I can, I can overcome this. It's not that I can't fight through the darkness, it's that I didn't have a reason to, I couldn't see a reason to, because it felt like all I was fighting for was the perpetuation of everything that sucks, and why? I mean, that's where I was at, just why, why, why would I do that? What is the point? What am I fighting for? Nothing. I'm just fighting against being knocked out. I'm fighting against not being able to perpetuate it, and I don't want to. So, but now... And I will, I will absolutely be able to tell you more about the good thing I heard today. The good thing that's going on in the world of Glenn. <laughs> With my cast of characters, <laughs> like, the, in the physical world. Like, I will be able to share that probably pretty soon. Just not today, but... What I am sharing with you is that I heard good news and that it gave me something to fight through all of this for. 
and my batteries are charged up again and I'm ready. I'm ready for the fight. I'm ready for the dragging. Let's go. Because <laughs> the future You know, there are these little roadblocks, these are the, you know, these little obstacles in the road that seem monumental and insurmountable right now. Or they did yesterday. You know, it's like, I don't know how I'm going to slay these dragons, this swarm of dragons, but I'm going to. Um, and then the future beyond that is brighter and there are new and wonderful things in that future. It's a whole new chapter. <laughs> and I'm so excited about it. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. And thank you for sitting through my last few really dark vlog entries. Um, talking to all of y'all out in YouTube land really got me through the last several days because um, it was a constructive way to get outside of my head and to feel seen and heard so thank you for that um, but yeah I mean I'm gonna call it a vlog because I am exhausted and I have to get up super early in the morning it's like I don't know exactly what time it's around 10ish Maybe just somewhere between nine and eleven. That's what that's what time it is right now. Um, but probably it's closer to ten. But it, it I'm rambling, so I'm gonna go. Um, if you uh, if you're interested in my writing, novels, and all of that, my podcast I do with Matt, you can go to my author website, glensleyclarkjr.com. If you are so kind and so inclined, like, subscribe, do all the things. To help me feel famous and loved <laughs> on my quirky little micro YouTube channel. And I'll talk to y'all next time.